hear the words fashion and beauty, chemistry is probably not the first thing that comes to mind. The fact is, however, chemistry has played a greater role in man's hunt for improved appearance. Combining chemistry and textiles is something that has caught a lot of attention lately. Racing cars, recycle bins, backpacks, stealth jets, and even buildings with entirely recycled materials. Indeed, chemistry has found and will continue to find new and exciting uses in today's modern society. Very much so. As you can see, I've been dressing up like a tomboy a bit. When I, I think in Sioma Richmond, I think in a brand that makes women feel... Hussein Chalayan is an internationally known fashion designer. He is known for using innovative materials, meticulous matter cutting, and progressive attitude to new technology. He has produced over 20 collections. Clothing was very expensive in the ancient and medieval world. Clothes were usually made out of leather, yarn, linen, cotton, or wool from sheep. Some rich people wore silk, but now most of them can be found merely in museums. It is the time of the synthetic polymers. Terraline is the trade name for synthetic polyester fibre produced by the chemicals company ICI. It is made by polymerizing ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid. Cloth made by Terraline keeps its shape after washing and is hard wearing. Nylon is a firming plastic silky material. First used commercially in a nylon bristle toothbrush in 1938, followed more famously by women's stockings in 1940. It is made of repeating units linked by amide bonds and is frequently referenced to as polyamide.
They have high strength, good elasticity, abrasion resistance, chemical resistance, and do not shrink. Moreover, synthetic fibres are rich in raw materials. The manufacturing process is simple, low cost. That's why they are more favoured by both customers and companies than conventional natural fibres. And polymers' role in fashion goes way beyond the snow because there are many natural polymers as well. For example, wool is a polymer and silk. But silk is pretty expensive to make. So chemists started to look for something cheaper to replace the silk with. And they came up with nylon. Well, the conditions out here can get pretty harsh sometimes, so dressing right is key. To be able to handle any situation like this and any weather conditions, a lot of skiing clothes today have special membranes in them, such as Gore-Tex, that won't let water from the outside go through, but still let sweat out when we're active. By manipulating how the polymer fibers interact with each other, tiny pores between them are created. And the size of these pores are about 20,000 times smaller than a water droplet, but 700 times larger than individual water molecules. Is that water drops can't go through the membrane, but water molecules from when we sweat can. Gore-Tex is actually not used only as functional material in jackets, shoes, pants and leggings. It is also used as cable material and among other things such as submarines, printers and brain drains. The Laser Racer Suit is a line of high-end swimsuits manufactured by Speedo using a high-technology swimwear fabric composed of woven elastin nylon and polyurethane. In a traditional suit, there's a lot of skin movement. It just moves all over the place. So what these new suits are doing is actually controlling a lot of that extra movement. So it, again, keeps the water flow a lot closer to the body, makes it much more streamlined so you move through the water a lot more cleanly. The Beijing Olympics proved to be an unprecedented success for the laser racer. Every winner in every men's event in the Beijing Olympics was wearing this swimsuit. Laser racer is somehow considered an unfair advantage because swimming is a sport essentially based on the physical performance of the athlete. I make my designs from industrial materials, including plastic polymers, industrial tubing, and prototyping plastics. No, it's not science fiction. Spray-on clothing is here now, at least in the laboratory at Imperial College. Take a fibre like cotton or polyester, mix it with a plastic and a solvent, and off you go. You can create high fashion with a spray gun. is the finished item. Linda took it off about half an hour ago. It feels a bit like suede, but the amazing thing is it doesn't stick to your skin. And when you've taken it off, you can just drop it in the water and wash it.
need to worry, almost none of these devices actually worked. Well, I'm sure that it can be operational, but not at this moment. I can't use it.